I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? This is Matt. Once again, welcome back to another review. This is a paid request for Jamil. I apologize, it's taking a bit to get to this. Uh, I actually had to find the show to watch because it's a. This is a paid request for those interested. You to send any, whatever it may be, to either my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. It could be for pretty much anything. And they had some of this on YouTube, but it had to take a while to find it. Because there's like an official page, but I guess this was unofficially uploaded by someone else. Now it's the Lucy Lucy show. Lucy, yeah, that's a foreign version of Lucille Ball. Lucy, the Lucy show, which I didn't know much about this show. I know about I Love Lucy, but not this. And apparently, throughout this time period, she would always do a show for six seasons, end it, and then do another show. And so she had done, she being Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball was a big TV actress back in the day. She did films as well, but I think she was more known for her TV work. Big on the TV circuit back in the day. And throughout the, the 1950s, she was on a very popular show called I Love Lucy with her and her husband at the time, Desi, Desi Arnaz. Desi Arnaz played Ricky Ricardo, uh, Lucy, the back and forth shenanigans, what's going on. I also had actors like Vivian Vance, among others. And I'm not going to go into it because that's not what this is about. So when that show ended, and I think one of the reasons was, number one, I think Lucille Ball was a bit tired of doing TV. Also, her and Desi Arnaz broke up. They divorced. And they still worked together on the Desi Lu Productions, production company they made, where they produced quite a bit of other shows. But I guess at the time, the other shows they had produced were not really doing that well. And they're like, well, shit. Uh, I think one of the only ones they had left was The Untouchables, which was a TV show with, I believe, Robert Stack from Unsolved Mysteries was on the show. That's like one of the only shows they had. Like, well, we need to make some money. We need to get some hits going. Lucille Ball's a hit. How about this? You do another show for CBS as called The Lucy Show. And of course, she's much older by this point. Uh, it's about a mom who is a single mom, has a couple kids, and also there is Vivian Vance, another actress, like I said, who's on I Love Lucy. So it'd be the two of them going back and forth. And I think the setup was that she had money because of a trust fund that her late husband had. And it's not connected to I Love Lucy. She's playing a different character. She's named Lucy, but still a different character. And this ran on CBS from 1962 to around 1968. And then canceled it. And then a few years later got another show. And that ran another six years. And that was more with her and her kids. 
her actual kids. And yeah, I think I forget the name of that show, but I believe that ran also for six years. So six years, I guess, just by must have. Wait, it's six, six, six. Oh shit! No wonder Lucy's hair is red. It's the devil. Now, as a guy that did not grow up in that era, I mean, I was born in the 80s, and by the time I even knew what TV was, was probably around 7, 8 years old, so that would have been 1990, 1991, and I either saw older, as in 80s, early 80s shows based on my aunt or someone else taping them on a VHS tape and reruns, by Elf, the A Team, stuff like that, The Simpsons. Or at the time, I had CBS, ABC, PBS, and a second CBS for some reason, four channels. So during that time, I definitely saw Murphy Brown, definitely saw Home Improvement, Family Matters, Step by Step, a little bit, Full House, Saturday morning cartoons like the Ninja Turtles. That stuff like pop up like Dumb and Dumber cartoon, yes, Ace Ventura, The Mask, Looney Tunes, and was it the Bugs and Tweety show or I forget what it's called. And anyway, I know it's uh, what I'm getting at is that there is really no avenues for me to see the Lucy show. Let alone grew up with Lucille Ball. I had heard of her, and I the guy I grew up with. Older was either the Three Stooges, Red Skelton, and actually Lucille Ball is in an early Three Stooges episode. I forget which episode it is, but it's one of their f early years. And I'm like, wait a minute, I recognize her. That's fucking Lucille Ball. And she also worked with Red Skelton a few times because Red Skelton was a very uh, famous comedian. And I, I enjoyed him quite a bit. And I had seen clips when people talk about TV shows and they show clips of Lucille Ball and Hawaiian, wah, you know, that type of stuff. And also references, even like Rat Race, that comedy referenced Lucille Ball because it was a bunch of Cuba Gooding Jr. driving a bus with a bunch of women going to a I Love Lucy convention and they're all dressed like Lucy, <laughs> Lucille Ball. So, like, and references in other movies. I, I think Crocodile Dundee, Crocodile Dundee, when he gets to New York, he turns on the TV. Hey, we had one of these at the bar. And he turns it on as I Love Lucy. Yep. Same show was playing at the bar. <laughs> so I knew the clips and references more than I actually watched the show. And this I didn't even know of until just for a second. I'm like, oh, I Love Lucy? Wait, the Lucy show? That's not I Love Lucy. And... I don't like seven minutes in. What did I think of the episode? I liked it. For what it was, I liked it. It's a sitcom from the 60s. It's interesting going back and seeing a time when things were much more wholesome. Not as, not nearly as cynical as it would today. And just how the kids and the teenagers, they act so wholesome. Even when they're being they're frustrated or they're trying to be against their parent it's so wholesome compared to what it would be today fuck you mom now it, it, it wasn't the case back then not nearly and also with the restrictions and what you're able to get away with and again you watch those shows as a much more of a wholesome time that really all the family could watch and not get offended by in any way, shape, or form. Well, with the way things are today, they probably still find something to complain about. But I mean, the, the actors, the main Lucille Ball is Lucy, and then her friend Vivian Vance is Viv. They were the best parts of it. They made it work. The episode, the first one is called Lucy Waits Up for Chris. Pretty much her teenage daughter wants to go out with this very nice guy. A boy who drives? Yeah, he's 16. Oh, there's something about you and a boy in a car I don't like. What is it? The whole idea. 
And it's definitely, again, it's that old school sitcom with the laugh track. It's in black and white. So if you're not into that stuff, I don't know how you ever feel about any of that kind of material. It might be kind of alien to you if you watch it today. And it, it this was on YouTube. It took a little bit to find it, but I did find it. And there were moments that made me chuckle, mainly for the performances. In particular, Lucille Ball. There was a reason why she was so popular with the crowd of that time during that period where each show would be successful enough to get at least six seasons. Because they, she had a, a good timing of her dialogue and she was uh, nice flow. And they didn't, I don't know how she was in real life, but the character she plays seems like a likable character. Like when she's talking to her friend and she had agreed, fine, I'll let you go out with the boy. Oh, I remember the first time I went with a car with a boy. Then we drove to the lake. And you're not going. <laughs> like the timing, the way she did, that's what made me laugh. Or the way that she is waiting for her daughter to come home. And she thinks she sees her making out, goes out, we don't see her, but we see her friend Viv looking out the window, and when Lucy comes back, it's like, well, Flo the manicurist saying that, uh, well, you could do your own nails, and don't laugh, because she said that your nosy friend peeking through the curtains, you could do your own nails too. And you know the stories that the daughter comes home and because when she came home Lucy went out again, grabbed her out and the daughter's like, you know what you did just did? You know who's in the back seat? His parents. And then Lucy feels, oh I'm so sorry, you humiliated me and you'll probably never talk to me again. And even Viv says, well you're a mother hen. As a mother hen you can't help laying an egg every once in a while. It's just crazy, like, the two kids and the teenage daughter, just how wholesome and nice they were back in the day. It is a very alien world. It's an interesting way to look back on the old TV of yesteryear. With the, the music and the way it's shot and the being on the set and the laugh. Whether it was a live track, uh, whether it was a laugh track or whether it was a live audience, it just depends on the show. I, I'm not particularly particularly sure which this had. Maybe a mix of both. I don't know for sure. I wonder what younger people would think of the whole idea of a, a laugh track. The fact that it is you don't know you're supposed to laugh. There's this thing called ha 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 that will laugh for you. I guess in case it'll be infectious, you hear someone else laugh. You go ha ha ha. And then... They still use laugh tracks today. I was a bit surprised. Like, there's sitcoms today that still use a laugh track. Um, so I'm surprised. Maybe so. Maybe they would know what a laugh track is. For anyone who watches a sitcom nowadays. I don't even know what sitcoms are on. I forget what it was. Uh, was it... I forget what it was. I saw one briefly. I'm like, wait. They still do laugh tracks? I forgot what the fuck it was, so it was, I guess it was that memorable. I would say one of the better bits is the whole finale where she gets... She promises her daughter she won't wait up for her, she'll be in her room, and when you get home you can wake me up. So then something happens, and she gets locked outside, and she can't go back in because the daughter and boyfriend are there, and she goes in. She'll ruin the whole deal, so she gets on a trampoline... And she starts liking it and she starts jumping up to her friend Vivian. And each time she jumps up, she says a sentence. Hey, how's it going? What are you doing out there? And like talking through the trampoline appearances, it was simple, it was goofy. But it, again, maybe it was part of again, that wholesome bit that made it kind of sincerely funny. And the way that the, the two actresses portray the roles. And... 
again, these sitcoms are only like 20 some minutes long. And it, it's hard to complain about an episode of a show back in 1962. Oh, the, the production value. It's a 1962 show. What do you expect? Star Wars? You expect Smallville? That's a dated reference. Well, you expect this better than the CW shit. I'll, I'll say that. Maybe, well, that's not fair. The production value of CW is better, to be fair. I'm just saying I would rather watch this than CW shit. I, I liked it for what it was. It was fun. It was entertaining. And, uh, you know, it's fun to... That's the thing with movies today. I do think a lot of movies suck today. And that's fine. Well, it's not fine. It's bullshit. I, so even though it's bullshit, the reason part of me says it's fine is that there's a, there's a huge wealth of material out there that you have never seen. And maybe you won't like the Lucy show. Maybe you won't like this other TV show. There are countless TV shows, countless movies, countless other pieces of media that you have never seen and never even heard of. And you can find. You can find. And with the way with the internet, it's the easiest time to do it. YouTube, you will be surprised how much stuff is uploaded on YouTube secretly. Because they change the word or they change the phrase. Especially if you type something, you go up and you put the theme so it says something more than 20 minutes. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. So, yeah, what about the Lucy show? Season 1, Episode 1. I liked it. Not bad at all. Uh, the theme song is nowhere near as memorable as I Love Lucy. And I will say, Desi Arnaz is missed. I did it that they were divorced. They still remain friends. Maybe it took a while for them to become friends again, but they still remain friendly up until his death in the, I think, 1989 or so he passed away. Uh, but it's still not having Desi Arnaz there. He brought a certain fun and energy. And the bits I saw of I Love Lucy. So the fact that he's not in there, I think is... I would say if there's a the biggest issue, I would say that. And that's probably why more people go more towards I Love Lucy. Because of those two's kinship. And I think they both worked well together. While here, Vivian Vance is fine, but... Lucy doesn't have another like strong, you know, kinship to play off of. Yeah, you know, the kids are are there. They're not really great. So I would say that's the biggest factor is why this would be a step down from I Love Lucy. And, and the, even the main theme song, I Love Lucy, is much more memorable than than this. I don't even remember the theme song of this. I really don't. Like the theme music, I should say. It's not really a song, but the theme music. I don't remember. So, but with that said, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys later. Bye-bye.